With St. Patrick's Day right around the corner, let's make a traditional dish with a few healthy twists. Stay tuned. Hi there, my name is Katrina. Welcome to the Organics channel, where we are inspired by good nutrition and the difference it can make for you and your life. Today, we're going to be making a gluten-free, orange raisin, Irish soda bread. Let's begin by adding three cups of gluten-free, one-to-one -one baking flour into a large mixing bowl. I am using Pamela's all-purpose flour mix. This ingredient is optional. Just for a tad of sweetness, I'm adding in two tablespoons of coconut sugar. For our leavening agents today, I have two teaspoons of baking powder, one teaspoon of baking soda, and three quarter teaspoon of either pink Himalayan or sea salt. Whisk together your dry ingredients. So typically with Irish soda bread, it's only made with baking soda. But because we're using gluten-free flour today, I'm also adding in the baking powder to help it rise. Next, let's add in one half of a cup of either raisins or cranberries and the zest from one organic orange. Stir together to coat the raisins and your orange zest. Set your flour mixture aside and now we're ready for our wet ingredients. In a separate mixing bowl, add in one and one half of a cup of your favorite dairy or non-dairy plain yogurt. Typically, Irish soda bread is made with buttermilk, but I thought we would try something different today. Two tablespoons of dairy or unsweetened non-dairy milk, two tablespoons of melted and cooled butter or coconut oil, and last, we're going to add in one egg. Whisk together your wet ingredients. Add your wet to your dry ingredients and then stir to combine them together. Gluten-free flour is typically more thirsty than wheat flour, so once all the ingredients have come together, let your dough sit for about 10 minutes to dry it up just a bit. While your dough rests, let's prepare a 9-inch cast iron skillet by lightly flouring the bottom of your pan. You could also grease your pan if you'd like with butter or coconut oil. Heat your oven now to 320 degrees Fahrenheit. Once your dough has thickened up a bit with floured hands, shape it into a ball and then add it to your pan. Flatten out the dough just a little. You don't want the dough to be touching the sides of your pan. And now we're ready to cut a cross shape into your dough with a sharp knife. Then add an additional smaller slits into each of the quarters of the dough to help it rise. Before baking, take your bowl that had your wet ingredients and scrape out any remaining yogurt mixture and rub it over your dough. This is going to give your bread a nice crust on top. Place your bread in the oven for about an hour or until a toothpick comes out clean when inserted in the middle. And then you'll want to let your bread cool on a cooling rack for at least 30 minutes. This Irish soda bread is ready to give a taste. Some things you might want to do when you take the bread out of the oven, you could also uh, baste it with a little bit more butter or coconut oil for fun. So let's see, by making the cross on the top, it sure makes it easy to break apart. So you see how it already had the line for me and I'm just pulling it apart. Look at that, that is gorgeous. All right. I just eat it just like this. <laughs> I'll break off a piece, show a few more manners. It smells so good. Mm, let's give it a taste. That is beautiful. I don't know what else to say. I love the orange and the raisins. It's got a wonderful texture. And I love a little bit of that salt flavor that's lasting in my mouth. Delicious. So delicious. I hope you give this one a try. Thanks so much for joining me today. Have a healthy and happy week, and I will see you in the kitchen. Bye-bye.